Hello everybody. Today I want to make sure demo on how you can use in your profile SQL in order to catch all MySQL queries generated by Acumatica. So first of all, I want to say that <clears throat> there is no way directly to catch all SQL queries by MySQL database at MySQL level. It will be necessary to use some tool which will be in between your Acumatica and your MySQL database. I suggest you to try Neor Profile SQL. What it have? It has the user interface like this, which looks very similar to this. Basically, this is Neor Profile SQL. And you can, like I'm, I have uh, in separate window open in Acumatica, and you can see what kind of SQL queries Acumatica generates, and you can even build your conclusion based on what you see. So what kind of configuration you will need? I described some steps on my blog. First of all, you will need to install Neor Profile SQL. Uh, kind of step which I forget to mention in my blog will be configuration of firewall. You will need to open port 4040 at inbound rules and outbound rules. Also, you will need to modify your connection string, as it is mentioned here. Like here you see I have on my local host server and I have mentioned port 4040. And then after executing our profile SQL, I'm getting got I'm catching all SQL queries which all my SQL queries which Akumatica generates. And by using this technique, I can relatively easy to understand like what's going on. Uh, besides that, I want to mention that if you have a kind of heavy page, then probably you will need to use some other tool because proxy server, it loads in your profile SQL, it loads processor quite heavily. As you can see here, I have all my 16 cores loaded severely. And it is because I'm opening one page which has a lot of SQL queries. But if I have some kind of simple page uh, with few SQL queries to debug, it's relatively easy to understand what's going on. So by using of Neo Profile SQL Server uh, uh, proxy, you can see what kind of SQL my SQL queries Acumatica generated, and based on this, you can make your own conclusions how you should uh, modify your BQL. 